WADA TV gives you a first look at North Central Washington's business news. You'll hear from our local business, tech, and education companies as Jenny discusses hot topics and current events with some of the best innovators and pioneers in North Central Washington. Hello, North Central Washington. Welcome to Guada TV. I'm your host, Jenny Rojanasatian, and on today's episode of Guada TV, we'll be talking about the upcoming Innovator Awards Luncheon, along with entrepreneurship in North Central Washington. The Innovator Awards Luncheon is hitting its 18th year celebrating innovators from across North Central Washington. Every year, the Innovator Awards Luncheon's goal is to highlight success stories, whether that's in entrepreneurship, inside of technology, or education. Guada puts on this annual luncheon with the support of four presenting sponsors, People's Bank, Gigawatt, Microsoft, and Stemelt Growers. Later on in this episode, I'll be having Kathy Rixey from People's Bank on air to talk about why they're passionate about supporting entrepreneurs and their journey in our community. In order to set the stage for the Innovator Awards Luncheon, I thought we'd take a look back at 2017 and watch the highlight video of Dave Carlson from Gigawatt. Dave Carlson was our 2017 Entrepreneur of the Year winner, and this video showcases a little bit about his company, why he started his business in North Central Washington, and what their plans are for the future. Stay tuned for a great episode and enjoy this recap of last year. I've been doing startups since 1999. Uh, this is about the sixth one. I've had a mix of success, like most entrepreneurs. I've had two or three winners. And in a way, my philosophy is sort of all winners eventually become losers, right? So like even though I've had a few high flyers, they, they, they go away eventually or things change. And you have to be willing to either take a left turn or shut them down if that's, if that's what's necessary. So it's this, this series of pick yourself back up and, and either get with it and go do something again or or don't around 2004 or 5 I was actually working with digital assets in virtual currencies uh, not as we know it with Bitcoin but I was at Microsoft I was working in Xbox Live group and I worked on a, a system that minted the Microsoft Xbox Live points three four years later I hear about Bitcoin and I hear about how you mine it or how you, you know create it using you create Bitcoin using the transaction processing computers and it all just sort of made sense it just clicked it was like oh I see this is a follow-on idea essentially to what I was already working on so I immediately started getting involved with it I lived over in uh, the Seattle side and the discovery that I live three hours away from literally the world's cheapest source of power came to me through uh, somebody on the forums, on the, on the Bitcoin forum, just sent me a message and said, you know, hey, do you realize, you know, three hours away, you have, you, you, you have just the, this, the biggest competitive advantage anybody else can have. I did find um, some local guys here on the East Wenatchee side who were willing to, to take a, a risk and let me sort of convert their um, dry storage warehouses into the first large-scale mines in the, in the world, in the United States to be sure. Uh, and the goal was to get to the megawatt scale. Uh, so a million watts of power is a pretty significant undertaking. Without the team that I have now, there's no way that this happens. So you, you obviously, as an entrepreneur, you, you can only do so much in the 24-hour day. And you have to, have to find people to join your vision. And you have, in order to get people to join your vision, you have to be able to communicate your vision to them because not everybody sees it the way you do as an entrepreneur. Most of the time, nobody sees it the way you do. So you have to find a way to, to sort of like communicate and, and slowly like build that dream or that vision so that they see it too and they'll, they'll invest. And not, like I said, not just money, they'll invest their time, they'll buy into to what you're doing. With them, collectively, we build this, this bigger, vision that we have now.
Welcome back to Guada TV. I'm Jenny Rojanasatian here today with Kathy Rixey from People's Bank. Welcome to the show, Kathy. Thanks, Jenny. It's great Glad to, to be here. We're excited to talk about the Innovator Awards. Uh, for those of you who have been tuning in since the beginning of the episode, we just showed the 2017 Entrepreneur of the Year winner, which was Dave Carlson from Gigawatt. Um, and we're excited about the luncheon coming up on September 26th with a whole new set of nominees and ultimately one winner. <laughs> uh, but first, let's talk about People's Bank. So, Kathy, uh, tell us a little bit about your organization. So, People's Bank is a um, three-generation family-owned bank, um, community bank that is originally in Linden, Washington. And I actually was the first employee of People's Bank in Wenatchee. I opened up the branch here um, back in 2003. And um, I left a few years later, but came back to work for them. And um, I'm really proud of the opportunity that we could bring a small local bank like that here with um, great commercial lending, retail lending, and what I do, um, residential lending for um, mortgages. So um, I think it's kind of a unique uh, positioning in our community, and that's what... People's well, Bank's about. That's pretty special that you're the first employee mm -hmm. in Wenatchee yeah, for the I'm bank. Yeah, of that. It, they sort of lead with mortgage, and then we build a team around it, and um, to, to where we are today is one of the larger of the branches um, of our 22 branches that we have in Washington State. And two branches here in Wenatchee. We have one. One um, branch, We okay. just had, yes, we have the main one, 901 uh, Mission. Okay, perfect. And um, behind the scenes, we've talked a little bit about your company culture and, mm -hmm. you know, why People's Bank is great from an employment standpoint. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit more about the, the team and company culture. So um, one of the great things about People's Bank is we're small enough to really move quickly in the industry and spend some extra time customer service with our customers, we try to provide um, technology and things that will help um, people maneuver in the banking industry quickly um, with some online apps and, and internet banking. And uh, on the commercial side, we really believe in the community, um, supporting new businesses and um, strengthening our community through lending. And also, you know, savings. Our uh, deposit accounts are strong and we offer a line of banking and financial uh, services um within our company um on my side of it i just uh, we have a team of four residential lenders um and uh, uh processors underwriters uh here in the branch in wenatchee and um, we do everything from um uh, va fha first time home buyer loans washington state housing and finance usda and really we specialize in construction lending and lot loans one of the things that I think is unique about People's Bank is uh, it starts off when you walk in the front doors. Mm -hmm. You don't have the traditional bank <clears throat> tellers up at the front mm -hmm. where you're approaching. You've mm -hmm. got your team up at desks, mm -hmm. your mortgage team and lending team coming out of the offices to assist customers. It's mm -hmm. really uh, pe people oriented. <laughs> it is. Right? That's the name. Yes. No, um, I, I feel like our branch base, we, initially we started downtown and a big office but we outgrew that and built a branch i mean we like to you know invest in our community so we built a, a branch there on um, the corner ninth and mission and um and it is really open and we want it to have that feel when people walk in they feel welcomed and greeted by people i feel like the customer service atmosphere and what we provide our customers is above and beyond so that's really nice to work in an environment like that and then in terms of act activity with the community, um, People's Bank's been very involved with Guada. We're going to talk mm -hmm. a little bit about the Innovator mm -hmm. Awards, but you also support a variety of other organizations. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about some of the work People's um, Bank is doing. Well, Town Toyota, we uh, sponsor some things there, and this year I'm super excited because we're doing a wrap on a Zamboni. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just, you know, to put our, our name out there so yeah. people are familiar with us. Um, a, a lot of us are involved in, um, like, the Wenatchee College Foundation, um, we have people on the board there um, and other organizations locally. I'm the president of um, National Association of Mortgage Women. So we get involved in things that help uh, strengthen um, education and community 
involvement. It's very important for us to all be involved in that. Uh, there are several of us in Junior Service League, and um, you know, we we just do what we can. And then, of course, the Festival there. of Trees. That too. Um, you know, we like to be involved in that, and just the fun things and that make our our Wenatchee a great place. Now, uh, the National Women's Group, uh, tell me that acronym again. With the National mortgage. Association of Professional Mortgage Women. And that's a very active group in the community. Can you tell it me is, a little bit more about that? Sure. We have 40 members, and um, we're looking for more. And what it, what it does is it you come for the education, but you stay for the friendship. So there's a lot of, we meet once a month, um, usually at Town Toyota, for lunch. We do have some social activities, too. Um, but when we meet, we have typically a speaker um, that will come and tell us something that's going on in the community um, or something uh, about credit reports or just something that will help uh, with uh, mortgages and just the community. Um, then we once a year we have a fundraiser in December where we raise money for a nonprofit that we donate some funds to. Last year we donated $6,000 that we raised from just that one event, 70 people. To um, Alethea Writing Center, another great nonprofit mm -hmm. in our community. Mm -hmm. And this year, we're looking at you know who we can donate that to. We just started meeting with that committee, so it's a fun group to belong to, and you learn stuff at the same time. There's a national convention down in Las Vegas that has uh, a three-day conference. I think this year actually it's going to be, or next year it'll be in Dallas, okay. Texas. It's in different locations. So you can tap into the power of some national support in mm -hmm. terms exactly. of uh, mortgage research, what's changing mm -hmm. in the trends. The, um, the industry nationwide. Yeah, absolutely. As well as local. So. Well, Kathy, this is a great setup for uh, more about People's Bank and what you're doing. It's time for us to transition to a commercial break. But when we come back, I want to dive specifically into People's Bank support <clears throat> of the Innovator Awards Luncheon and tell you about our 2018 Entrepreneur of the Year finalists. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jenny Rojanasatian. We're back on Guada TV here today with Kathy Rixey from People's Bank. Uh, Kathy, we just kind of laid the foundation talking a little bit about your organization and uh, the work that you're doing um, to support the community. Uh, let's talk about this exciting event we have coming up. Okay. The Innovator Awards Luncheon. So the Innovator Awards Luncheon is September 26th. It's at the Wenatchee Convention Center. And during the Innovator Awards Luncheon, Guada presents awards in three different categories, in entrepreneurship, <laughs> in technology, and in education. And this year, People's Bank is presenting the Entrepreneur, uh, Entrepreneur of the Year Award <laughs> for 2018. So, Kathy, tell me, um, let's start by saying, why, why present this award in, per in particular? Why is entrepreneurship important to People's Bank? Well, I think um, one of the reasons that we like to um, sponsor this and associate ourselves with Guada is it's important to a bank to help the community grow. And through these small businesses, it's, it's really exciting to see what people come up with and how they add to the community. It's important to the bank because these smaller um, innovative companies are what's driving employment and new resources here. And uh, so we just really consider that um, an integral part of our business plan and one of the reasons why we like to sponsor this award well, and Guada. And plus it's fun. You get to look at fun. what's new out there yep. on the market, what new companies are developing, um, how they're uniquely applying their talents to bring mm -hmm. either a new product to the market or transform an existing one. Yep. And, and, and you and I worked together on the committee. We did. Uh, to select the uh, finalists, which was really hard. Um, it was hard. There were so many really good companies that we had a big challenge to go through. It took us a lot of time to nail this down to, you know, a top three um, that we felt would be good choices for this. And all of them are very different types of companies, which is, I think, also cool. It's neat to look at all the differences and um, why each one made an impact. Absolutely. And for um, our audience who doesn't know who our three finalists are, do you want to help uh, share the good news sure. of our three uh, finalists for Entrepreneur of the Year? You bet. Um, we have Beth Du of Threads, in, which is in downtown Wenatchee. It's a clothing store that has brought some unique items um, and a, a really cool shopping experience. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fun to go down there and look. Um, we have David Kaler of... Um, Harvest Valley Pest Control. Right, and what he's done is really grown an industry and created a lot of employment opportunities and a special niche uh, um, 
of service to the valley and actually the region. Yes, yeah. he, he's quite <clears throat> expansive in, in his market, three mm -hmm. counties, I right. believe. Yeah, he's and that's been over just a short period of time, I think five or six years, something like that. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't taken him long to really grow the business of that, and he's done that in a unique way. Um, and then uh, we also have Kevin and Kyle um, uh, Cox. Sorry, of it's okay. We've got a, we've got a lot of names yeah. that we're throwing <laughs> out here. So Kevin Coaxier, and they have done um, their business is really um, unique too, and it's in the industry of fire. Yeah, wildland clearing. fire gear, and so which is such a an issue close to heart right now mm -hmm. when you think about this last <clears> summer. <throat> what's been going on. Right. They manufacture uh, state-of-the-art wildland fire gear. Um, so they're protecting really those who mm -hmm. are out there serving our community, managing mm -hmm. forests, mm -hmm. um, whether that's healthy forests or unhealthy forests right. or <laughs> under fire. And uh, they are in Chelan Falls, which is a very small community. Mm -hmm. um, and they've created a mini manufacturing process there. So very innovative to, very. to bring manufacturing to Chelan Falls. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. These guys are all really worthy of this award and the nomination, as were everyone we considered this year, I think, on our committee. And this is the third year that People's Bank has sponsored the Innovator Awards Luncheon. Mm -hmm. This is um, every year People's Bank has selected a different award to present. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what are you most excited about with this year's luncheon, do you think? I'm gonna put you, you on the besides spot. the food? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you know what is neat? Like last year and I, this year too, there's some booths that um, everyone brings some information about what they're offering and a little bit about their company and I think that's kind of a neat touch. Um, I'm just excited to hear about all the awards and um, and what's you know happening here. I think just the whole event is kind of unique and really sheds a lot of light on things that are going on in our community that are cutting edge and that are really important. Well Kathy I want to thank you for first and foremost for volunteering with Guada, sponsoring Guada, and being a part of the Innovator Awards process. Thanks for asking. Yes, it's <laughs> going to be really fun. We invite the whole community to join us on uh, Wednesday, September 26th. It'll be in downtown Wenatchee at the Convention Center. And it's time for us to do one more commercial break. So I want to thank Kathy for being on air and uh, come back uh, for a few additional tips about the Innovator Awards luncheon. I hope you enjoyed hearing about our three Innovator Award finalists for the Entrepreneur of the Year category. Just to refresh, uh, we want to congratulate Beth Dew from Threads, a clothing boutique, Kevin Cox and Kyle Cox of Coaxure, a wildland fire gear in Chelan Falls, as well as David Kalor from Harvest Valley Pest Control. All three of these outstanding nominees for the 2018 Entrepreneur of the Year Award will be recognized during the luncheon coming up on September 26th. And here's the good news. The Innovator Awards Luncheon is a public event that you can attend. There's uh, tickets available online. If you are one of Guada's 130 business members, you get a reduced price on your tickets, uh, but still available for the general public to come attend as well. In addition to the Entrepreneur of the Year Award, we have four other awards. As I mentioned earlier, this event is all about celebrating innovators, technology advancements, and education. On the upcoming weeks of Guada TV, we'll be speaking with our sponsors of the Innovator Awards and talking about the finalists in each of these categories. It's going to be a really fun month of highlighting these innovators and recognizing those who are making things happen in our community. I also want to invite you to go to the Guada website, gwata.org, where we've got more information on every nominee, including the finalists. And we're also posting up some small vignette videos of each of the finalists in our five categories. So there'll be a lot of material over the next month, which you can learn more, uh, get involved, and participate. Thanks for joining us on Guada TV today, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Since 1999, Guada has served as North Central Washington's Tech Alliance. As a 501c3, our mission is to bring people and technology resources together to create a thriving community. Through our work, we aim to inspire, engage, and connect. 